Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury's arbitration case is defaulted after September 15th, which means someone wins if the fight doesn't happen. To the victor goes the spoils. Let's talk. Straighter! Yep, the, Not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about, the straight shot. It's the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull back a, a little seconds. bit. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as long you're trying to fight the great, you're, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to bury you alive. I'm prepared to welcome to the graveyard. You get the sources from clowns, so when you come around, we are here. You wish the best, fight the best. If you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBCs, the top topic, bitch, hate that. I bring the truth to these fans, so why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get the bands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get you dead. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. If the fight does not happen between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury by September 15th, then that court case becomes default, which means if it didn't happen, there's a winner and a loser. The loser is the person who refused to fight, Tyson Fury. The winner is the one who was trying to fight, Deontay Wilder. Well, what happens to the winner and the loser? Well, to the victor goes the spoils. The only thing on the line is the WBC title. That is it. It is, an, it is a contract between the two. And the winner of that, whoever wins that dispute of the contract, gets the WBC title. Deontay Wilder. So if Tyson Fury doesn't fight Wilder by September 15th, Deontay Wilder will become the WBC champion again without ever fighting Tyson Fury. Now, that's what it should be by law. Because it there, it, there has to be a win a, 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 a prize for this fight, for this this court ordered case falling to default. This is no longer just about boxing. This is a court-ordered case. If it falls to default, there is a winner and there is a loser of the default. All right? The winner gets the only thing that's on the line, the WBC title. The loser gets nothing. Now, he picked this. Tyson Fury can do what his father said. Throw the belt in the trash, go back and fight uh, Anthony Joshua. However... He can't fight anybody due to due to the, the terms of the arbitration in the contract. It is fight Wilder or fight no one. What he can do is, like I keep telling everybody, retire, unretire, and then fight Anthony Joshua. They will still claim he's a lineal champion, never lost his belt in the ring, and blah, 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 never lost his stat. Blah, blah, they'll cl still claim that. All right, They will still claim his lineal status, and they will run with that to duck Deontay Wilder. I'm telling y'all that's what's going to happen. All right, I'm telling y'all that. But Deontay Wilder, if he does not fight Tyson Fury, will become a WBC champion. He should become a WBC champion. His belt should be returned to him because what is the vic what is the victory if Tyson Fury doesn't fight him by September 15th? I don't give a damn about what October 9th. I don't care about that. 
don't care at all. That's irrelevant. They just made that date. The judge didn't make that. The judge said September 15th. You have a court order for September 15th. That's your court order. If you lose the court order, then you lose what's on the line. What's on the line is the WBC title. So you do exactly what your dad said you're going to do. Chuck the belt in the trash. Go back and fight Joshua. That is exactly what Tyson Fury is going to do. That is what they're doing right now. They put the ball in Deontay Wilder's court to say, um, well, default. There's all these high, powerful lawyers that deal with top rank and deal with Deontay Wilder. No way in hell do they not know what I'm saying right now. The court order says September 15th. If you do not fight on September by September 15th, then you default, which means you lose. If you lose, then you lose what's on the line. What's on the line is the WBC title. That's what's on the line. So Tyson Fury will lose the WBC title. And he will remain the lineal champion. He will keep that status and run along with it. Retire and not fight anybody for a few months. And then come back and fight Joshua. That's what he will do. Deontay Wilder will win the default. And become WBC champion again. Now, I was thinking before, oh, well, they'll man, well, Deontay Wilder uh, will win the default. Tyson Fury will retire, and then they'll say the WBC belt is vacant, and Wilder got to fight somebody for the WBC belt. That's what I was thinking before. But that's not how court, that's how the WBC works. That's how boxing works. That's not how the court works. There's something on the line in the courts. This isn't a court. This is a court-ordered fight. There is something on the line in this fight. There's a winner and a loser. The winner gets something. The loser loses it all. There's a winner and a loser. Now, in boxing, they can say, oh, well, you know, we're going to strip Tyson Fury, and then we're going to put the belt in the line, the vacant belt for Wilder and White to fight, blah, blah, we're going to strip, we're going to do that. that that's, not, that's not a court order. The court didn't order that. The court said Wilder and Fury must fight, period. Fury fights no one else but Wilder. That's what the court said. All right. The only thing that's on the line if Fury and Wilder fight from what the court said, the only thing that can be default defaulted to one side or the other is the WBC title. That's it. So if Fury defaults and the fight happen and the fight so if the fight happens October 9th, he defaulted. That means Deontay Wilder would be coming into that coming into the ring as a WBC champion. That's what will happen. He will win that belt by the courts. Not the lineal title, but he will win the WBC belt by the courts. That's what's on the line if Tyson Fury defaults, the WBC title. So if he does not fight Deontay Wilder by September 15th, Deontay Wilder can default him in the courts, become the WBC champion, and then fight Fury in October on October 9th as the, w, as the reigning WBC champion. Facts. That's how it works. Something's on the line. Your default win, your default lose, something's on the line. The thing that Tyson Fury can default lose is a WBC belt. The thing that he can default win is nothing but the signed contract that he already signed. The thing that Deontay Wilder can default win is the WBC contract because it's on the line. The thing that he can default lose is nothing. Deontay Wilder can allow this fight to be um, postponed to October 9th. He does not have to at all. And I hope he doesn't. I hope his high powered lawyers default. They allow this to, well, they're not allowing it to default. They're not doing that. Top rank is the top rank default. Top rank went um, um, beyond what the courts allow. Top rank did that. They postponed. They said, fuck the judges. We're moving this back. Top rank is going to have to produce a doctor certified COVID test in order for the judge, for the judges, the courts to move this to October 19th. I don't give a fuck what top rank. They can move it to fucking December if they want to. It's irrelevant unless the courts move it from the date that they establish to December. What top rank does is irrelevant. It's moot. It means nothing. You can move it to 30 years from now. It means nothing. You get defaulted. You lose. That means Deontay Wilder wins. That means he becomes a WBC champion again. That is the only thing he can win. That's the only thing that's on the line is the WBC belt. 
So if Fury doesn't fight him by September 15th, Deontay Wilder and his team can default on the judgment that was made by the courts, which means he will win, which means he wins the only thing that's on the line, the WBC title. Deontay Wilder will become the champion again if he allows Fury to default, which is what they just did by moving, by postponing. They already told the courts they're defaulting. Now the courts are looking at it like whatever. Don't matter to me. We gave you the date. If you don't fight by that date, then you lose. Right now, we're still in July. So you got time. You got plenty of time. You got a whole fucking month and some change. Motherfuckers get COVID for two weeks. You have a month and some change. You have a full month of August to fight in. The full month. But yet you're moving it until October. Then you lose the WBC title. Top rank is, they're, they're challenging Wilder's team to force the default. They're challenging, and I hope they accept the challenge. I hope they say, no, you're still going to fight me. You're going to fight me, but you're not. You're going to fight me as the former champion. You're not going to fight me as the champion. Now, there might be some type of clause that they can work out to say, well, if you accept, if you accept this postponement, then, then that falls within the courts. Now, Tyson, they postpone it. Wilder accepts it. So then they go to the courts and say, hey, we postponed it, and Wilder accepts the postponement. So... We're postponing to to October 9th. If Wilder accepts that, I hope he doesn't. I hope he says, fuck no. You need to fight me by, by September 15th. There's a full month of August. The whole month of August is there. The whole month. What are your symptoms, Fury? You, you're, not even, you're not telling nobody your symptoms. You're saying you're sick, but you're not that sick. How is that justification for you to postpone this for, for three, two, two, three months? How? That makes zero sense whatsoever. When people have COVID and they get over it in two weeks, why do you have to postpone it for three months? You have the full month of August to fight in. If I am Team Wilder, if I am his lawyers, that's what I'm pushing. That's what I'm pushing. I want my trilogy. I want my fight. But guess what? It is not going to be at, at the cost of my belt. You're giving me my belt back because you know you cheated me. You're giving me my belt back. You're going to, you, you, okay, so you want to fight Anthony Joshua? No problem. You're going to fight me. You're going to, you're going to fight me. Oh, you, you just want to, you want to retire? No problem. Retire. Doesn't matter. You can retire, but when you come back, I'm pressing for the fight. But you're not, you're going to do it without my belt. And I'm telling y'all, that's the play that Fury is using. Fury is using the play of, you want the belt? Take it. Take out the trash. I'm defaulting. I'm not fighting you on that date. I'm defaulting. It's a mind game. He's going to default. Deontay Wilder should allow the default and get his belt back. I, he, I, he probably won't because that man wants it back in blood. So he probably will allow the postponement and fight that man on October 9th. And they'll probably postpone it again. I believe he should not. That court is a it, it has a uh, set standards. This was the start. This is the end. If it gets to the end and whatever was ordered doesn't happen, there's a winner and a loser. What's on the line is the WBC title, which means if Tyson Fury doesn't fight Wilder by September 15th, Deontay Wilder gets reinstated as a WBC champion by court order. BFTB. Shout out to the LDBC. And I'm out.